Hey, this is Average White Gamer, and welcome back to Let's Play Ark the Lad. We, uh, last time Ark beat Iga, the warrior monk we met, and we realized that the arch monk is a monster in disguise. So now we're gonna go chase after him. Makes you wonder, I don't, do they, I don't think they actually ever explain what happened to the real. Um, Arch Monk, or if that was actually just him the whole time. But. Okay, I'm gonna get the experience just because it's an easy way to help Chonger level up. Wait, I'm not gonna give him that. Okay, so I'm gonna give I get the short sword and hit scroll. He already packs a wallet that he can uh, I say wallet. Well, uh, he already uh, packs a punch, but. Well, that'll help out a little bit, and that's fine. I'm gonna keep everything else how it is. Um, not a lot, of, not using a lot of strategy on this, but as you can see, you got these. Uh, what are they called? The novice monks, novice. Really don't look like monks. Again, you don't ever actually fight people except for the fight with Iga and a couple of other people. But, and there's the archmage, or what he is now. First, I'm going to group some people together and take care of these, uh, these monks. See how much... Oh, well. I bet he got a level for them so well. Oh, and he does quite a bit on the counterattacks, which is good. And, oh, please don't kill him. Thank God. Cuckoo is gonna get herself killed. Yeah, of course. Not thinking about her live. Okay, so as you can see, Iga has Mark Enemies for Death, and that works in conjunction with his other abilities. As you can see, I can't go to the bottom one to select it. Uh, it just won't let me. So I can Mark for Death. And this is a really helpful and kind of cool. Um, ability you can use it actually has some strategy to it. Oh I actually got diamond dust. I didn't get to show you that one so I'm gonna go ahead and show you that now in a month. I'll show you how that works. Just a little nice ice attack. There's uh decent power. Um I'm gonna bring out the key lag. I don't think I'm gonna worry about getting his book complete. Because it doesn't really have any rewards that I've heard so far, and if it does, go ahead and tell me. But pretty sure it doesn't, so. Oh shit, I forgot I can't select on him. So he just get stuck with that one area, but Tosh will be able to have a turn before. Ah, oh, that didn't be too bad. Okay. So now that I have Ark up there. Why did I do that? He doesn't have the ability. Use the energy fruit on himself. And keep him alive. And Ark can pretty much take care of these guys. And, oh, that sucks. I was kind of hoping to line them up for. Paco's uh, move, but I guess I can use. And there goes my healer again. Why did I not move her out of there? Sorry, guys. Sometimes I'm just stupid on this game. Okay, let me go ahead and show you what this does. Uh, now I can select this, and as you see, it says uh, laser bomb marked enemies. So I can pretty much go anywhere. And attack them, but I'm gonna go ahead and mark a few. I ah, know I'm not gonna be able to reach that either. Okay, so now I'll be able to attack him from back here. And as you can see, it shoots a little laser. And that's what Chonger was talking about the ability to ta attack from far away. So that's how that came to be.
And I'm going to use his healing ability to go ahead and heal Ark. That way Ark can keep attacking. And now I'll go ahead and use that. Should have kept track which one I attacked earlier. Oh, I think I got it right. Okay, I'm going to put Muttfly out here just to be bait. He's going to be my little meat sack. He's going to take an attack or two before dying. So, Alright, yeah, now I can get all three of these with the burn ground. It's really nice about later level abilities. Take out a bunch of people at once. Take out him. And none of these guys got attacked yet. And Keelak's just gonna sit back and enjoy himself. Nice. Got another attack point there. Let's see. Keelak's gonna be one of my little meat sacks, so. Uh, I'll try attacking head on with that guy. Really not gonna get taken out at this point, or not gonna lose at this point. Line drum helps. Oh wow, only one. Um, kind of wasn't a very beneficial one. But Yogan's gonna go ahead and take. Oh no, I thought it was gonna take him out. Oh, really? Four? Or, you know, that's not much. Let me go ahead and use an herb on him. And yeah, see, as you can see, my more physical characters are on the other side. I'm going to separate them for this attack. Or this battle. So. You can actually, uh, probably the most strategic way to do it is. Uh, move some of the characters all to one side, that way you can more efficiently take them out. But, they're, they're doing fine over there, so. I did lose Kukuru, which seems like she's always dying. I still need to level her up. And see, my little meat sack over there, he, uh, does good for me. Okay, so since he's focused on them, I'm going to go ahead and mark him again. Oh, I forgot that doesn't do shit. Why well, didn't I just use him to heal? No. Okay, he's going to get rid of these guys. Charm doesn't do much, but two, thirty-two. Um, I'm gonna se um, separate everybody, so you can't use that strong attack on multiple people at once. Oh well, Tosh is still stuck in the same area though. All right, let's see if this works. Don't think I've tried to paralyze him before, but it didn't work. Ah, eh, screw it. I'll take him back here. I know I should really play it safe and worry about healing some of these people. But I guess a two healing two is better than healing none or healing one, so I'll heal both of them. This stupid one over here is not dead. It really has been a distraction. 
Oh, there we go. I'll, I'll be able to get him with this last one. Yay! Okay, so... we will go ahead and heal Tosh. So there we go, we got everyone almost fully healed, he might be able to kill Tosh anyway. Nope. Oh wow, I didn't realize his counterattack was lo level was high enough to do that. So we can attack behind him. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and heal again. Use Paco as my healer since I Kukuru has continuously failed me through this playthrough. Let's go, Misha. Yay, my flies back. Might as well. It doesn't matter where I attack him since. Oh, I thought I was going to kill one of the counterattack. I might kill him here. Yeah! And Tosh gets another level. Nice. Oh, and he got a new ability, so... Oh, and so did Paco. I forgot he gets the shift loot from this. And the shift loot, that ability, it's... kind of basic, but it turns everybody the same direction Paco's facing. So it can be helpful, I guess. Um, there's only, like, one or two times I've actually... Usually that has helped me. But. If I wasn't too bad, but I get just thankful for us helping him, so. And we only got the prayer beads. Actually, I don't remember what they do. Okay, so now we have access to the mountain, and we get going to get the second stone, which is great. Well, as soon as we fight our way through yet another battle. Oh, that's uh, Gogan only. That's right. It's nice though. Thirty percent on magical ability. That's a pretty. Uh, Makes the spells pretty strong, even though they're already strong. Okay, so you have... Hemojis. Because, you know, everybody loves those. I hate Hemojis because... of what they do. They turn you into a Hemoji. Okay, I'll set Ark here to fend those off. Ark and Tosh will... defend that way while... send everybody else... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to reach more one over to take care of these emojis because they're quite annoying. Slimes act normally and don't directly go towards you, so they actually help. They get in the way of the other um, enemies up there. Unless they step out of the way like that, but a lot of the time they just help. And they can give you the status effect emoji on any um, any of their attacks, and it pretty much gives you silence. And I don't remember what other effects it does. It may lower attack, but it wears off after a couple turns. Or you can use there's items that get rid of it as well. Okay, well, I'm gonna get mock fly first to make floors. Look, I don't remember. The, I don't think there are any chests here you can get. No, there's just the guardian mantle up there. And no chests. So I don't have... I can use him to make floors in random places for no reason at all. Experience, yay! God, Kukuru, you suck. Kukuru can be really good, especially if you use her right, but... 
I have I just haven't leveled her in this playthrough. She's done absolutely horrible. So she could heal her, but unless you level her up some more, she's pretty squishy. And see the slimes are getting right in their way, so it's actually pretty funny, especially I've had those split before right there, and it's hilarious because they'll split and it'll just be a cluster. Okay, let's get rid of this other one. Really, we haven't had to, no, we haven't had to deal with anybody from the top yet at all. Because they're growing around the maze of their own slimes. I just think that's funny. Okay, let's get the relax. Our little healers up. Make sure I'll keep her in the middle. I wish she was a good healer without screwing me over. Okay. Make a secondary path so that way I can hopefully surround the enemy here in a second. And luckily the emojis, uh, those three over there, weren't too annoying. Or haven't been yet. They haven't put any status effects on my people. Try to get rid of them though. There we go. My pocket levels up. Junk bracelet. I'm going to look up that junk bracelet. See what that does. Grab level one. It feels like I have one of these, don't I? I believe I have one of these. Oh, no, nope, that's a different bracelet. Okay. So he's not close enough to do anything, so put him over there out of the way. Why can't I get over on that path right there? Really? Must be on a different level. Fail, Chandra. Fail. Okay, I'm gonna get here right up behind him. Really, Chandra can't. Can Chandra not go on the paths that I make for him? How have I never noticed this? Okay, I'll try to take care of these guys quickly. Put the hero crest back on them, so I'll slowly re regain MP. There we go. There's one gone. Ooh, big bombs. Those are those can be helpful. They're just like a stone in their throw at them. Pretty sure I've shown you those before. I'm gonna go ahead and use the heal. For experience and to be safe. Yay, slime movement. It's random and it makes no sense at all. Okay. Maybe that was just Chongra's limit. Maybe that's why you can't go over there. I don't know. Seemed like he could walk farther than that, though. Alright, now that we got rid of those... I'm level all up all over the place in the last couple battles. This is nice. Alright, this episode's getting pretty long, or kind of long, so... Um... I'm going to go ahead and end it. I'm a little under halfway or through this battle, so hopefully next time we'll get to see the Guardian and get the second stone. We'll, we'll see what happens next time on Let's Play Ark the Lad. This is Average White Gamer, and see you next time.